So today I'm talking about a P0743 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0743 code? Well, it's a torque converter clutch solenoid circuit electrical. And what does this mean? Well, basically automatic transmissions have a torque converter and the torque converter is mounted directly in front of the transmission and bolted to the engine. This is where all the power from the engine is getting transferred into the transmission. And there's a component called a torque converter clutch. And the torque converter clutch basically locks the engine to the transmission, which has a lot of benefits when you're like going down the freeway or something like that. It reduces slippage, it increases efficiency, different things along these lines. And to engage the torque converter clutch, the computer uses a solenoid called the torque converter clutch solenoid that when the computer sends it a signal, it's going to engage all this. But when you get this P0743 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this. It's something either inside the electrical going to the solenoid or inside the solenoid itself. Basically, there's something going on with it. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0743 code? Well, the first thing to go and do whenever you have any transmission problem, really, is that if possible, go check your transmission fluid. Some vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can't go check the transmission fluid, be sure that it's at the right level. That's not super dirty or anything like this. Also keep in mind that there's a filter inside the transmission and that fluid should be changed out on a regular maintenance schedule. And if it's not, if that fluid gets really old or contaminated or if this filter gets all clogged up, then that can cause issues. So be sure to keep that in mind. But the first thing to go and do, if possible, is check your transmission fluid. The next thing that could cause this is a bad torque converter clutch solenoid or the wiring going to the solenoid. If you do go to work on your vehicle, you will need to get a diagram and a schematic to know where all these components are located and what's going on, since there is differences. But basically, you go and locate it, you test the solenoid, and you can check the wiring going to the solenoid. These solenoids all have a rated ohms that they're supposed to be set at. So for example, right here, it says 4.9 ohms. So if you have a multimeter, you can't set it to ohms. You could go and check it. And if it falls outside of this range, then you know it's bad. You know it needs to be replaced. There's some other ways and some different ways to go about testing those solenoids. So that's a real basic method. It is very common for these solenoids to be getting 12 volts to them. But again, be sure to get schematics for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. So you can go and test it. Be sure you're getting voltage to the solenoid, that the solenoid is good, that there's no issues there. Because the next thing that's going to cause this is a bad torque converter clutch solenoid or the wiring going to it. The next thing that could cause this is a bad torque converter. If something's gone wrong inside that torque converter, then that could cause a lot of problems. Again, there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting if it has a bad torque converter or not. Quite often, if there is an issue with that torque converter, it'll start to send metal flakes into the transmission fluid. So if you do have a dipstick, you can go and check it, see if you see any metal shavings on it, or if you happen to change the fluid in the filter. You can look down at the bottom of the pan, especially around the magnet that's down there, and just check to see if there is any metal shavings or anything like this going on. Because if there is, that could point to an issue with that torque converter. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad torque converter. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of mechanical problem going on with the transmission that's just stopping that solenoid from working correctly. So this would be something like a blocked up passageway or something like that, where the fluid is going to that solenoid or a bad valve body or something along those lines. Although usually if that happens, you're going to be getting a lot of other codes. If you are just getting this P0743 code, very likely there's like a bad solenoid, some kind of wiring problem or possibly a bad torque converter. But it is possible that there is something else going on inside the transmission that's just stopping that solenoid from working correctly. And so the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of transmission mechanical problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you could go about fixing a vehicle with the P0743 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.